All right, what is up traders? What's up tycoons? Super excited for today's video. We're going to talk about home builders, right? If we take a look at the XHB ETF, we can see them breaking out massively here after the huge cup and handle on the weekly time frame, right? And if we zoom in on the daily, we can see it also broke out of its recent downtrend. Now there's an important uptrend here that's very, very tight. And there's some warning signs you need to pay attention to. So we're going to break down the intermarket relationship between home builder stocks and the treasury yields, right? If we take a look, it's no coincidence that Treasury yields have been in a massive downtrend here, while home builder stocks have been in a massive uptrend here recently. So we're going to break down that intermarket relationship, taking a look at the inverted 10-year treasury versus XHB. We'll break that down in today's video. And we even asked ChatGPT, because everybody loves ChatGPT right now, uh, to really break down the inverse relationship for you guys. Now, I understand the relationship, but we went ahead and asked ChatGPT, and we'll read ChatGPT's answer for you guys, just in case I'm not as articulate as explaining it as maybe ChatGPT would be. Now, as always, though, the content provided on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be relied upon as legal, financial, or investment advice. So please be sure to read through the disclaimer. If you're new to the channel, I started a completely free newsletter for you guys called Investment Intelligence, okay? Giving out free trade ideas, free valuable trading content, free finance content every single week. And this is what it'll look like, right? Highlighting the conditions on the chart that we're looking at, going over the trade idea, showing you the chart itself. And many of these trades have worked out very, very nicely, okay? You can take a look at this one here with the rising wedge, highlighting the price targets to the downside, and you can see how that trade played out very well. I try to sprinkle in one to two free trade ideas every single week for you guys in this newsletter. Now, I'm not spamming you guys with five to 10 stocks every single day because I just want to simply say, oh, hey, look at this one stock trade that worked out out of the five to 10 I'm sending you every single day. No, I'm looking for high quality setups and I try to put those high quality setups that have a high rate of success and also a manageable, you know, um, risk tolerance in there and a manageable stop loss uh, for you guys in that newsletter. So sign up for that. If you guys are fans of free, valuable content, free trade ideas, you can join the investment intelligence discord. It's only 10 bucks a month right now. Uh, that's basically less than a cup of coffee a week. And this is where you can see how I structure these day trades using the custom scripts and indicators and trading strategy. Uh, and that's also where you get access to all of the trade ideas and analysis uh, versus one or two swing trade ideas a week. So, you know, you sign up for the newsletter for free, sign up for the Discord for 10 bucks a month, um, either or is going to be a great valuable resource. Now, um, we'll go ahead and get into the video and we'll talk about the weekly chart here for XHB. I mean, guys, this looks, you know, greatly bullish, okay, uh, to put it lightly. Right. I mean, we can see the huge bottoming formation here with the cup and then we get a nice retracement here for our handle. And what have we done? Well, we broke out past that handle and absolutely exploded to the upside. Right. And if we zoom in on the daily, we can see this is basically that handle pull pullback right here. And you can see we greatly, you know, broke out past that trend line here here recently in the beginning of December. And we've completely exploded to the upside when it comes to XHB. Now. There's a huge reason this has been happening, all right? And if you're not aware of that, this is something that could end up having you short it here, short it here, um, you know, or potentially even short it here, and it continues to just keep going higher. And that's the relationship that it has with treasury yields. So what we have here is a negative TNX. Now, remember, TNX is going to be your 10-year treasury yield. So a negative TNX is going to be an inverted 10-year treasury yield. So that's going to be an orange on our chart. And then in white, we have our XHB. This is your home builder ETF. Now, these typically have an inverse relationship. Now, what does an inverse relationship mean? Well, it means that as one is going up, typically the other is going down. So if we have a negative TNX, okay, this means that as TNX is going up, right, the negative TNX would actually be going down. So if you see here where the negative TNX line is going down, Okay, this means that the 10-year treasury yield is actually going up. 
Okay, so let's get that out of the way. It seems complicated maybe if you're new to these types of things, but that's a very simple concept to understand. Remember, this is inverse, okay? So we can see here that the XHB is in a strong downtrend here recently, right? And the negative TNX is in a strong downtrend, right? The inverse 10-year treasury yield is in a strong downtrend, meaning that this has an inverse relationship with the XHB. And what do we see here? Well, we see 10-year treasury yields start to bottom and go on this tremendous rally when it comes to the negative 10-year treasury yield, negative TNX, right? We see a huge rally in this. This means that the 10-year treasury yield is actually dropping significantly. And then what do we see here? Well, we see XHB rallying tremendously, right? And so right now, we are in one of these instances where we're seeing a divergence. So these gray shaded areas, these are areas where the inverse relationship isn't necessarily playing out. This is not something that's going to be happening 100% uh, of the time. This is just something you want to be very aware of as an investor or trader in home builders is their interest rate sensitivity. Take a look how it's making lower highs here, but over here, we're making higher highs. So what do we see? Well, we see that the home builders are actually making higher highs here, uh, but the inverse 10-year treasury yield is actually making lower highs. So this is an area of a divergence, right? And you can see the overall trend here where we're heading down. Right. And then the overall trend here where we're heading up again, we're seeing a divergence. Right. And that's happened a few times. Right. We see over here heading lower. We see over here heading higher. And we're at this point now where the XHB is continuing to make higher highs. But the inverse treasury yield, the inverse 10 year treasury yield is actually starting to go down and pull back. So this is an area of divergence. Now, as a trader, this is something that you want to pay attention to, right? Take a notice at these prior divergences and notice how they always end up coming back to, you know, their their previous relationship, right? So there's this period of divergence here. And then what do we see? Well, we see the XHB going down and the negative in the inverted 10-year treasury yield going down. Over here, we see the inverse relationship, the divergence right here. And then what do we end up seeing? Well, we see the inverted 10-year treasury yield rise and we see XHB rise. Over here, we see a divergence, right? And then what do we see? Well, we see the inverted 10-year treasury yield fall and we see XHB fall. So we're at this point now where if XHB is supposed to be impacted and following the negative 10-year, the inverse 10-year treasury, we could potentially be due for a pullback. Right. And so that's why this trend line here on the XHB is going to be so important because we know right now that it's diverging at the moment from what it's supposed to be doing because we've seen the inverse 10 year treasury yield pull back from this point. But at this point, we've actually seen the XHB continue to go higher. So right now, you want to be a little bit cautious if you are aware of the relationship that home builders have with treasury yields. Now, treasury yields and home builder stocks, such as those represented by the XHB ETF, often in exhibit an inverse relationship. This is because higher treasury yields can lead to higher mortgage rates, which may dampen the demand for new homes and consequently affect the profitability of home builders. Now, conversely, when yields fall, mortgage rates typically do as well, potentially boosting home buying activity and benefiting home builder stocks. Now, the chart I've provided you guys illustrates this inverse relationship with the TNX line inverted, often moving in the opposite direction of the XHB. However, the shaded areas indicate those periods where this correlation diverges. Such divergences can occur to due to various factors. Now, these are all including policy changes, market sentiment shifts, or sector-specific news, but these periods of divergence could potentially signal an upcoming change in the price trend of home builder stocks, warranting closer analysis for future investment decisions. And if we take a look at 10-year treasury yields right now, right, it's no coincidence that home builders have been on a tremendous rally when we see how the 10-year treasury has been in a tremendous downtrend, right? We have this super, super bullish uptrend here, and we broke through this uptrend, right? We broke through this bullish channel here, breakdown, retest, push lower, hit our targets to the downside, and now we're starting to see a little bit of a rebound here in the 10-year treasury yield. So if this 
continues, this area where we continue to rebound in the 10-year treasury yield, typically this would mean that home builder stocks are due for a pullback. Okay. Now at the moment, we're not seeing that pullback. So there could be a little bit of an arbitrage opportunity, right? If the 10-year treasury yield continues to rise, this could actually be something that XHB traders, XHB investors, home builder investors are not paying attention to. And this could provide a short opportunity. Now, if this is just a dead cap bounce in treasury yields and they continue to go lower towards our next target here, this could potentially signal further upside for home builder stocks. So now that you guys kind of understand the relationship between home builders and treasury yields, hopefully this will give you guys an edge in the market, okay? These are things that market analysts use, that Wall Street uses, and that not too many people really share with others, right? Especially when it comes to free YouTube videos, um, you know, and, and, and actually going over key data and really understanding market movement and market price action. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, okay? And if you enjoyed this analysis and you'd like to ever do a one-on-one -on -one session with me, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions uh, all the time. You can book those on my Ko-Fi page. You click on the commissions tab here. There's a link in the description for my Ko-Fi page and you can book a 30 minute or one hour session directly with me. And we can go whatever it is that you would like, whether it's options trading strategies, how to hedge your positions, um, how to leverage the shares that you own to get free hedges, uh, whether it's technical analysis, day trading, swing trading, you know, uh, people hit me up for lots of many different things. And you can reach me directly through that Ko-Fi page. You can also click on this buy a coffee button. It's basically a way to leave a free tip or donation for the uh, you know free valuable content I put out there for you guys. Uh, don't forget to sign up for the Investment Intelligence Discord. That's where you get access to all of the custom scripts, indicators, uh, the charts that you saw in today's video. Okay, um, you know the the negative. 10-year treasury yield versus XHB, that is actually one of the flexible grids and one of the many you know, resources available to all of the members in the Discord. So not only do you get access to the trade ideas where you can find high quality setups, uh, such as the plays that we've been in here currently over the past week or two, you know, making really, really nice profits, as well as the custom scripts and indicators and strategy that I use for day trading to get these really nice returns. Uh, but you also get access to all of the chart layouts through those flexible grids. There's over 35 here currently at the moment, and I'm continuing to add to those. You also get access to the custom scans and many, many more things inside of the Discord. Or you can just simply sign up for the free newsletter, okay? Uh, it costs nothing. And if you're a fan of free, valuable content and you want one to two free trade ideas every single week, you're really going to enjoy that newsletter. Remember, I try to only put high quality trade setups in that newsletter versus spamming your inbox every single day with five to 10 different trade ideas, you know, trying to make it seem like I'm a market guru just because one or two of those trades did really, really well. Now, uh, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.